Pulu Pasiwe, the ESCOM chair or spokesperson, is on the line with us to give us uh, more information on ESCOM selling some of its assets. Kulu, thank you so much. Just give us uh, some color around the reason why ESCOM is looking to sell some of the assets. Uh, which are they? And secondly, the National Union of Mine Workers is said to oppose this decision. Well, indeed, uh, last week uh, our CEO did indicate that uh, we are planning to sell some of our non-core assets. And the reason for this basically is that uh, people will remember that uh, we are currently or, uh, engaged in a, in a uh, build program. We need about 250 billion rand to complete our, our build program. So in other words, um, government has already uh, assured us that they'll give us the 23 billion rand. We need obviously a lot more to go before we, we can complete uh, the, this uh, 250 billion rand that we need to complete our project. So, and as a result, we are deciding, we have decided, or at least considering to sell some of our assets, which are which we deem to be non-core. So, and some of these, as our CEO has indicated, may include um, um, our loan book. It might also include uh, some of our properties and also some of our um, um, vehicles. So, we are looking into a broad range of, uh, of things that we, we are likely to sell. But it's important to note at this stage that no decision has been taken as to which assets will be sold and whether we will sell them in the first place. So therefore, I hope this will address some of the concerns which NUM and other unions have already expressed. No decision has been taken on this thing. And if we're going to take any decision on this matter, as per tradition, we will consult and inform all the employees, including including unions. Uh, Kulu, just a final question from me. Uh, there were reports that uh, ESCOM is entering into a potential contract with Glencore and the quality of the coal has been in question in being more expensive, not suited for use for ESCOM. An update on this? Well, indeed, we noticed those reports. And, uh, well, the, the truth of the matter is that ESCOM already has a contract with Optim Optimum Coal. And that coal, obviously, we are using it in Hendrina Power Station. If it is indeed true that we are negotiating with them, as the, 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 the article alleged, uh, uh, says, and it is true indeed that we are negotiating with them, but these people already are uh, providing coal to us according to the specifications. But because we are negotiating with them for, for additional capacity, so if uh, we, we do agree on, on this additional capacity, obviously it will also include the, the, the requirements on, 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 on what they need to give us in terms of uh, coal that will go into our power stations. So this uh, perception that we are just negotiating in the dark and we're going to get coal that we do not need or that does not meet our specifications, it's really, I would say, nasty, really, because uh, we, we continue to get coal from uh, this company. And when we do agree on new consignment, obviously, we'll also agree on, on the specifications. Kulu, thank you so much. Uh, that's uh, Kulu Pasiwe, the ESCOM spokesperson, saying that when it comes to those coal agreements, they are not negotiating in the dark.